Grace and peace, it's your girl, Prophetess Pastor Teresa Moten, with her apostolic voice. I was awoken this morning just hearing the scripture, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am low in spirit, and you will find rest unto your soul. Then also Matthew 6.33 But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. God bless you to each and every one that's under the sound of my voice. I hope this morning find you doing well. I hope even those words that I just spoke would just resonate in your spirit, because truly we need to come right now to God. Surrender our rights over to him. We don't know when the Lord is coming back. We don't know what's going on in the world. The climate is terrible. And I'm telling you, if you don't know the Lord, it's time to get to know God. John 3, 16, say, for God so loved the world. He loved everybody in the world. It's the sin that God don't like and he will not have. So if you hear me this morning and you feel downtrodden and you feel heavy laden, I want you to just open your mouth and say, Father, like Romans 10, 9 and 10, say, confessing with your mouth and believe in your heart. I want you to say, Father, come into my heart again. Save me, a sinner. I truly believe that you died for my sins. I believe you were crucified and you were resurrected the third day after death. You descended and now you ascended to the right hand of God. And I'm going to be with you one day, God, for eternity in Jesus' name. I believe by faith, God, that you have saved me. And now I'll go and get the word so that I may grow thereby. That's what God wants you to do. He wants you first to do those little fundamental steps to accept you as a child of God. You know, it's not really hard. He made the foolishness of the gospel to confound the wise. So don't let anybody make you feel like you got to go through, jump through fire, jump through hoops. It's just a matter of opening your mouth, confessing him as Lord. See, the thing that the Lord doesn't like is unbelief. See, Thomas was one that Thomas, he had to thrust him in his side to believe that he had came back. But God said, blessed is him that have believed and have not seen Thomas. So I don't want you to be a doubting Thomas today. I want you to believe God. Go all the way with the Lord. Now, after you have confessed him and you believe, then now you are considered of one of God's children. But you must go further. I want you to go further than that. I want you to go to a Bible-based church that treat, pe- preaches the whole word of God. That's right, because they're going to tell you you need to be baptized according to Acts 2.38. And then they're going to let you know that after that, the Holy Ghost come upon you, shall receive power. You're going to need to speak in other tongues. That is your heavenly language. Don't let anybody rob you of speaking in tongues. That is your heavenly language. And I'm believing God right now that somebody who know that they need God, even if you've been saved before, do the process over again. If you feel far from God, if you feel weak, call upon him. He said he'll answer you. God bless you. I'm I'm not going to be before you long, so I, I want to end on that note. But I just want you to know, come to Jesus. That is the word that came to my spirit. Come to Jesus right now. Father, we bless you this morning. We honor you, Lord. We thank you for you all knowing today, God. We thank you, God, that you loved us when we didn't even know how to love ourselves. When we were lost in sin, you saw fit to bring us up and out of Egypt. And now, God, we'll bless you forevermore, for this is the day that you have made, and we shall rejoice. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray this prayer. By faith, we seal it in the blood. Thy kingdom come, your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Now, God, we'll thank you and we'll praise you forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray by faith. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Until you hear my voice again, double shalom. God bless.